Hi, I'm Summerly Rosilko. I'm a senior art major at Washington Jefferson College, and this is my senior show. For the show, I wanted to address the way that a look can affect a person. Every day we are looking at someone, day after day, and we don't think about how our looks can affect them. Whether you're giving them or receiving them, they play a role in how we interact with everyone. So for the show, I wanted to address how a look can spike your anxiety or make your stomach drop and bring a focus to the discomfort that one can feel. So when creating these, I looked at the past work of Manet or Degas, notably the rehearsal of the ballet on stage. And I looked at how he fused his sketches with painting, and I wanted to take an approach similar to that because I view myself as a drawer before a painter. So in the pieces, I implemented an underlying sketch with paint on top, and I weaved in more sketching to bring out details or accentuate a certain area of the painting. For the subject, I wanted to capture the uncomfortable situations that you can feel when you're either giving or receiving a look. Many of us have been in these positions. And I noticed that it's comfortable for us to divert our eye when we're in these situations because we either don't want to be a focus or we don't want to be associated with this behavior. And so I wanted to capture these situations and make it so you can't turn away. And I did this through using vibrant colors and contrasts. When viewing it, I wanted the atmosphere to feel as disturbing and uncomfortable as what I attempted to capture in the painting. So I wanted it to be an immersive work of art. One of the prominent questions that I've been asked for people who've seen my work as I was working on it was, why are they featureless? And I did this because I wanted it to remain open to the interpretation of the viewer so they're not constricted by gender or certain details. And another factor that I found to be interesting when going through the, the original sketch was we're unsettled by humanoid-like figures. And I thought that having mannequin-like figures as stand-ins for actual people would add to the discomfort that I was hoping to capture. This body of work addresses the observer and the roles that we play in unfolding events. And I want the audience to be left with that impression. I want them to think about their own actions and the effects that they can have.